Hi, welcome back to Move with Katie. I'm Katie and I am so excited that you're here to join me today for this flow that we are going to do together. It'll be a little fun, it'll, there'll be little challenges and we'll definitely make sure to be mindful and present in our bodies. As always, this yoga practice is for you. So please follow along and take any modifications that feel good back off if things don't feel good and just generally enjoy this time that you have chosen to stand on your mat. Let's get started. I'm going to start today just in a seated position. I really like at the beginning of my practice to drop into the body, drop into the space by just taking a few deep breaths. So I invite you to relax your hands in your lap, tuck your tailbone under, maybe roll the shoulders up to the ears and then shrug them down. And take a big inhale in through the nose. Exhale, gently closing down the eyes or maybe looking at a spot in front of you on the floor. Inhale again through the nose, nice and slow. And as you exhale, let the air out of the nose so slowly. Inhaling, filling up the lungs, feeling the rising of the chest and the filling of the belly. Exhaling, letting everything go, feeling the heartbeat slowing. And beginning to really notice the tingling and the sensations of your body sitting in space. With your next breath. Just let your inhales and exhales return to a normal pace. And just notice the breath as it moves in and out of the body. And then take one moment before we open our eyes to set an intention for your movement. Maybe a phrase or a word that speaks to you about who you want to be, who you want to become. And then if you're ready, begin to rub the palms together, creating some heat, some friction, starting to really just warm up through this small little motion. And then place the hands over the closed eyes feeling the warmth on the face, flutter the eyelids open, and then drop the hands to the side. Inhale, reach the arms out to both sides and up overhead, palms to touch. And then we're going to make little circles with our wrists and maybe even flare the fingertips, circling the wrists as we slowly lower the arms back down next to the hips. If you're going one direction, switch to the direction of your wrist circles. Just a fun little warm up. Maybe you're feeling it in your forearms, extending through the elbows. Let's circle our way all the way back up to the top again, switching directions of the wrists every now and again. And then when we reach the top, interlace the fingers and then point the palms upwards, shrugging the shoulders up to the ears. And then as you exhale, round through the spine, press the palms of the hands forward. Inhale, arch the back, tailbone lift, shoulders shrug back together, elbows extend towards the sky. And then as you exhale, round through the back body, palms of the hands point forward, chin tucks. Unlace the fingertips and let's come into a tabletop position. From here, we're gonna get straight into our glutes. So starting a warm up with a little strengthening exercise. Inhale, we're going to lift the right leg so that the knee is bent. Maybe the top of the foot is flexed, maybe pointed, whatever feels good to you. Maybe try both. Maybe swirl the ankle around a little bit. And then we're just going to pulse upward from the glute. So actively engage the core and we're using that glute muscle, that big juicy muscle on the back of our booty to lift up over and over in little tiny pulses. 
Nice work. And then we're going to straighten through the leg, tuck the tailbone under, and exhale, bring the knee in towards the nose. Round the spine, puff up the back of the heart, press the earth away. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, straighten the leg. And from here, we're going to bend into the leg, circle the knee out to the right side, and then send the leg long, still lifted. Exhale, lower tap the foot. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower tap the foot. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower tap the foot. Inhale, lift, and then reach that leg back behind you one more time. Drop the toes. Drop the knee, drop the belly, inhale, lift the chest, lift the tailbone. Exhale, puff up the back of the heart, angry cat. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, puff up the back of the heart. Next, inhale brings you to a neutral spine and we'll lift that left leg up, keeping it bent, flexing, pointing the foot, maybe rolling out the ankle. And then beginning to just take those little pulses, pulsing the heel up towards the sky, really focusing the energy on moving those glute muscles, not really leading from the calf, not flinging our heel up there, but instead just little tiny lifts, engaging just the muscles and the glutes where we want to work. Little pulses, maybe point the toe, see if that feels different. Actively engage the floor, push the core. Actively engage the core and push the floor away. And then straightening through the leg, tucking the tailbone under. Inhale, left leg long. Exhale, knee to nose, puff up the back of the heart, press the floor away. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. And as you exhale, bring left knee towards the left shoulder. And then once you get to halfway, that 90 degrees, that fire hydrant pose, extend the left leg straight. Exhale, tap it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift. Try to keep the rest of the body stable. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Straighten that left leg back around behind you. Press the toes down. Press the knees down. Inhale, drop the belly, cow belly breath, chest and chin lift, tailbone lifts, elbows squeeze towards one another. Exhale, puff up the back of the heart, angry cat. Inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, puff up the back of the heart. Inhale, come to neutral spine, lift right leg high. And then as you exhale, Tap right knee to the outside edge of left knee. That's not maybe where it will land, but that's where we're aiming. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, tap right knee to the outside of the left knee. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, tap. And this time as you tap, open up the feet wide. And we're going to sit back, coming into a cow face pose. So your knees will be stacked on top of one another one another inner thighs are squeezing in and we're finding some space to settle into that seat behind our heels so we'll turn and face you your knees are coming as best across as possible if this is feeling super uncomfortable and you want to cross the ankle over the knee absolutely no problem we're all at different stages in our journey and different places in our anatomy so always do what feels right in your body if we're seated here in this cow face position or modified however suits your body today. Inhale, and as you exhale, reach both arms up high. And we're gonna loop the left arm underneath the right and bring the left wrist all the way around, coming into eagle arms. So now we're in a really nice, compacted, compressed posture. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale release tension. Try to pay attention to the space, the triangle that is created between your shoulders and your elbows. See if you can extend that space forward. You'll feel your shoulders begin to feel as if they're almost pulling apart. That's that 
separation and space between the shoulder blades that we're looking for with this posture. Inhale, gently unwind the arms. And let's bring them back in front of us, rocking over our knees and coming back into that tabletop position with the right leg lifted. Exhale, set it down. Inhale, lift the right leg up off the floor. Exhale, tap left knee outside of right knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap left knee outside of right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap left knee down. Open up the feet wide. And let's sit those hips back one more time. Opposite side, feeling that really deep stretch and compression here in our hips, as if our hips were turning inwards. And that's where we find more space to sit in such a folded manner. Inhale, reach both arms high. Exhale, right arm this time underneath left, wrapping right hand around left wrist and coming into Eagle arms on the opposite side. Inhale, lengthen through the spine and exhale. Send the shoulders and the elbows and the hands forward. Breathe deeply here, finding a moment of peace and relaxation. And then unwind the arms, gently release and bring them forward, rocking over the left knee and meeting back in your three-legged tabletop. Exhale, left toes down and inhale, send the hips high, walk out your downward dog. First time here in our practice today. So let's take a moment to get nice and comfy. Root down through the knuckles and the fingertips, lifting the wrists just a millimeter, half a millimeter off the floor. Send the heart back towards the thighs, lift the tailbone, actively engage the kneecaps, the quadriceps, the biceps. This is an active posture. And then we'll walk our toes all the way forward to the front of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, fold forward, bend knees deeply and ragdoll all the way up to stand, one vertebrae at a time, rolling up to the front of your mat. Inhale, reaching arms up overhead, and exhale, hands to heart. Now, inhaling, we're going to lift our right leg off the floor, keeping the knee bent. We're going to do those same pulses that we did on our knees, but sending the foot backwards. So now you're feeling the hamstring pressing backwards and the glutes lifting upwards to really move this right heel backwards. That same motion that we felt before. We're not flinging our chest, we're actively engaged in the core. Ooh, my little pulse is here, right? Your next pulse, let's bring our right hand to the inside of our right foot and kick that right foot into the right hand, opening up for dancer. You can stretch the left arm in front of you Getting a nice counterbalance if that feels good. Take a little smile, kick the foot harder into the back hand, actively engage the kneecap of the left foot to find balance. And then exhale, right knee sweeps up towards the sky. We're staying balanced on our left foot. And then bring hands to heart center, right knee stays lifted. Exhale, send right leg back. Leaning the chest forward, coming into a warrior three, hands at the chest. And then just like we did in our tabletop, we're going to exhale right knee to the outside of left knee, tapping in a little bit of a modified squat. Inhale, lift, warrior three. Exhale, tap the knee, squat. Inhale, lift, warrior three. Exhale, tap the knee and squat. And this time we're going to sit all the way down onto the right shin and onto the right glute and then take your hands wrapping the right elbow on the outside of the left knee sorry i'm facing away from you but we'll get a nice juicy stretch here inhale lengthen the spine in the crown of the head exhale twist soften the muscles in the face
Relax the shoulders. And then inhale, bring the hands to the heart center, face forward. And we're going to see if we can stand up back onto that left foot without tabbing our hands down. If you want to and you feel like your hands should go down, go ahead and do that. But if you like the challenge, come with me. We'll rock forward onto the right knee and the bottom of the left foot. And then inhale, putting all that weight into the left foot. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the inner thighs together, coming back into warrior three. Exhale, right foot comes down to meet the left. Inhale, arms up, hips down, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful job. Let's take that on the opposite side. Inhale, left heel to left glute. And then we'll take those pulses, flexing the left foot and sending the left flat of your foot back towards the back roof, end of the wall. Feeling the glutes engage, really firing up here. Feeling the hamstring sending back. Imagining you're in that same posture that we were in in tabletop. But now just working on your balance. Actively engage the toes of the right foot, the kneecap. Find your balance. Beautiful. Next pulse, bring the left toes closer in. Bring the left hand to the inside of the left ankle. Kick the left foot into the left hand and reach the right arm forward for a counterbalance dancer pose. Actively engage the core. Lift the right kneecaps. Curl the right toes into the floor, using them as a balance. Every part of the body is vital in each of these postures. Breathing deeply. And then letting the left leg sweep past the knee. Arms come to a prayer position and left knee lifts in towards chest. Balancing, you've got it. Exhale. Heart leans forward, left leg reaches back, warrior three. And then we'll take those single leg curtsy squats. Exhale, left leg outside of right knee. Inhale, lift back to warrior three. Exhale, squat. Inhale, lift. Exhale, squat. Inhale, lift. And last time, exhale, squat, and then top of the left foot, chin, knee comes down, keeping the hands in heart center. We sit down on the floor and bring the left elbow to the outside edge, the right knee. Inhale, twist, lengthen through the crown of the head. Sit up tall. Exhale, twist a little deeper, find a little more space. Inhale, and on your next breath, let's look forward. Undo the bind of the elbow and the knee, and we'll stand up onto that right foot. Shift the weight forward onto the left knee, then onto the right foot. Lift the leg into warrior three. Exhale, bring it down beside the right foot. Inhale, arms high, hips low, chair pose. And exhale, fold it forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step. Hop back through your vinyasa, all the way to the belly or just into chaturanga, onto the tops of the toes and lift the chest. And then exhale, downward facing dog. From here, we'll hop to the middle of our mat, set the hips down however feels good, maybe through a malasana. And we will roll it down to our backs. From our backs, lifting both legs high, and we'll turn the toes out so that we're kind of coming into a ballerina squat. We're just going to pump the feet back and forth, keeping the heels together like a little frog, getting a nice, fun, dynamic glute burner, but getting the weight down while we do it. How about that? Just pumping the knees up and down, straighten, squat, straighten, squat, straighten, squat. Straighten, squat. And then when the feet straighten, bring the feet together, point the toes, and inhale, lift from the chest so that we 
try to tap towards the ankles with our fingers. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Little ab work before we finish up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Two, one, and done. Let's bring the bottoms of our heels, bottoms of our feet to the floor and bring the heels close to the glutes. We'll take bridge pose and then Shavasana. So inhaling here, knees together, heels close to the glutes, palms face down, arms along the side of the body. Inhale, lift chin and chest and hips at the same time up towards the sky. Interlace the fingers and walk the shoulders a little bit further under the back body. Squeeze the glutes together. Actively squeeze the thighs together and breathe. Squeeze the glutes, lift a little higher. Squeeze the glutes, lift a little higher. You've got it. And then unlace the fingers, relax the shoulders and gently roll down to the back body. Let's rock from side to side, holding on to the knees, massaging the low back because it feels so good. And then inhale, lift the head towards the knees. Squeeze everything like a ball. And exhale, drop everything out to the side. Shavasana. Inhaling deeply. And as you exhale, emptying out the lungs and letting the body be heavy. Just taking these moments of rest. Really let the benefits of this funky balancing flow to sink in. And as always, I'll encourage you to stay here as long as feels good. But when you're ready, wiggling the fingers and the toes, reaching the arms up high overhead, pointing the toes down far away from the upper body, getting a full body stretch before gently turning onto one side. And then pressing yourself up to a seated position ready to re-enter the day, the world, the space beyond your mat, carrying with you the knowledge that you are capable of balance, of peace, of equanimity. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Thanks again for being here. It is an honor to flow with you. If you'd like to check out more of what I'm doing, you can check me out on Instagram at Move with Katie or subscribe to get new video uploads every week. I look forward to flowing with you and I'm so grateful that you're here.